What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. Hi, my Cherry Blossoms. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're hearing my voice and you're interested in videos about money, business, and motivation, then join the family, join the team, and become a Cherry Blossom. Okay? All right, you guys. So, I am here today cash stuffing my daughter, Myla's binder. And a lot of her categories are depleted. A lot has happened. She was on spring break. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, the first category I'm going to be stuffing is spending in her binder. And as you can tell, there is nothing in spending. Spending is depleted. Um, for spring break, we had a very, very good time. We did a lot of things, went a lot of places. And basically, Myla had her dollars in her pocketbook. And while we were out and about doing things, if she saw something, she wanted something, whatever the case may be, then, you know, she was able to dig in her little purse and pay for her own stuff. So, she has nothing in spending, but it's okay. We're going to build it back up. And today's spending, we'll be getting $5. So... And as you know, or if you don't know, I give Myla five singles versus a $5 bill because she is only four years old and it's easier to teach her about money with singles versus a $5 bill. She don't understand like, okay, this costs $2, but she's like, mommy, I have one bill, even though it's a $5 bill. I'm like, no, that's a five. That's more than two. And it gets confusing. So we just stick to singles for now. And if you don't know, I update my trackers off camera. I just feel like it's it's too much. Like, I just don't like to do it, okay? You can't make me, and I'm not going to. <laughs> so once I finish recording this video, then I will update the trackers. I do update my trackers, like, as I'm pulling out money and put it, pulling, what, girl? Slow down. As I'm pulling out money and putting money in, I do update the trackers like that. I just don't do it on camera. Okay, the next category is fun, and as you can tell, fun is depleted as well. We really, really had a great time. We went to um, Chuck E. Cheese, the movies. We did a lot of different um, activities. So fun today, we'll be getting $15, and I'm slowly going to build this back up. I think I'm going to increase the amount that I'm putting in fun because we are in May, and, you know, next month... Okay, you know it's New York. You know it's New York. It's going to be some background noise. Usually there's a siren going off in the background. But surprisingly enough, um, in my last couple of videos, there has been no interruptions. But, you know, this is New York. A wild card. Today we have a car horn going off. Okay, thank you, sir. Let me get back to recording. So, fun. Um, we are in May and June. The kids get out of school. They're going to be on summer vacation. And I want to make sure I have some funds saved and fun so we can do things. So probably the next time I stuff this binder, I'm going to increase the amount that I'm putting in fun. But for today, fun will be getting $15. After fun, we have school. School. I took some money out of school as well. Um, I did Easter baskets for all the kids in Myla's class. So um, the stuff that I brought for inside of the Easter baskets, I pulled from her school account. School has $25, $30 in here. And today in school, I will be adding $20. So now school has a total of $20, $40, $45, $50 dollars in school. And during the summertime, I'm going to increase the amount that I'm putting into school. So when it is time for back to school and buying school clothes and supplies, I can have enough money in here in order to be able to get that stuff. The good thing for me personally, I appreciate the fact that Myla has to wear a uniform. It alleviates, you know, the headache and the hassle of having to buy clothes and make sure you have school clothes and play clothes it's like nope monday through friday you're in a uniform sis and on a weekend then we can you know show off our style creativity and things like that by dressing and what we want to wear so wearing a uniform it definitely helps me out financially because once i buy 
I usually buy her three pants, two skirts, and like five shirts. And once I buy that, like she's done. That's it for the whole school year. So let's move right along. After school, we have clothes. Clothes is depleted as well. I've been living, okay? I've been shaking and moving and doing a couple of things here and there. But no, I am almost 100% done with Myla's clothing for summer. I still have a couple of pieces that I want to get. And I'm not sure if you can hear the wind in my background. But legit, my window is closed and this wind is kicking my window's ass, okay? It is pounding on this window. But we will continue. So, um, like I was saying, I'm almost completely done with her summer shopping. I probably want to get her, like, one more pair of sneakers and any other little knickknacks I could find here and there. But for the most part, baby girl's summer shopping is done. So, that's why this is depleted. But I'm going to build it back up for when it's time for me to buy something else that she may need. So, they clothes will be getting... 50 dollars okay so after clothes we have dance i just pulled the money out of dance and put it back in my bank account because dance is due at the beginning of the month and something i did do i end up paying for her dance class for the whole entire summer i think summer session starts the first week of july i believe that's when it starts and then it ends like the last week of august and i just paid in full so summertime i don't have to worry about it now that dance class is paid in full for summer i will still continue to stuff this because once we go back into like fall classes and things of that nature then i will go back to paying monthly just because the summer session is not as long as like the fall session that um, they make you pay for the whole summer at one time. So it kind of is good because like, okay, it's for the next X amount of months, I don't have to worry about dance class. But just to try to get ahead, I am still going to be cash stuffing dance class. So today I will be putting $40 in dance. And dance class is $76, but I just put $80 a month. And what I was doing was pulling the $80 out and putting it back into my bank account. But what I started to do is just take out the $76 and leave the remaining $4 inside of her envelope. So hopefully, I know for a fact, not hopefully, so eventually, that's a better word, eventually I might have a month's worth of dance class saved up. Just by saving the $4, the $4, the $4. You understand what I'm saying? You catch my drift, right? Oh my gosh, today's a crazy day. We done had car honkings, wind beating windows, and sirens going by. Let's, let's, let's get this video done. Let's get it done. So now in dance, Myla has a total of 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Now she has $48 in dance class. And the last category I have here is birthday, but I do not stuff birthday when I am doing her binder stuffing. I do birthday when I'm doing my savings challenge stuffing because I am doing a celebration challenge to fund this category right here. So stay tuned for that video. I will be stuffing this category very, very soon. So that is all for this cash stuffing. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Why? Because it's free and it doesn't cost you a thing, okay? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family, join the team. Become a cherry blossom. We are growing stronger and stronger every single day. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.